Hi, I hope that you are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today where we are going to explore. And we are going to do something fun and mathematical. So we'll use math and art. And what could be better than using multiple parts of your brain? Not much. So what we're going to do is approximate curves from straight lines. And if you have ever done string art, you've probably done this before. We are just going to use paper and pencil. So let's get started. And I have graph paper, pencil, and a ruler. You can use any kind of paper that you want. I'm using graph paper so that my lines are evenly spaced and straight. So we're gonna start by picking a point to be our center. And I'm gonna count up 12 from there. And over 12. And down 12. Now I'm going to make a line to create my axes. So this is my x axis and this will be my y axis. And together they make a coordinate plane. So it's basically a cross shape and there are four quadrants in that shape. What we're going to do is draw a line that connects the top point on this axis with the first point on that axis. Then we'll go the next one to the next one and we'll keep going. So the second point down with the second point over third point down with third point over. And here is the last one. So you saw that I drew a series of lines, but we have created a curve. So let's continue and we'll do it down in this quadrant also. And there we go. So the one by itself and then the one with the two adjacent quadrants. Now let's continue on and we will fill in the other two quadrants as well. And when we fill in those other two quadrants, we get a star shape. So the star, the adjacent quadrants, and the original first quadrant. So if the shapes are reminding you of the hyperbolic paraboloid that we created almost a year ago, then you are on the right track because we have created parabolic curves. Now, if you wanted, you could take these, make them into physical things. So you could take bamboo skewers and glue them together in that arrangement, or you could take string and create these with string. So I hope that you enjoy exploring math, creating curves from straight lines, and I hope that you give it a try. It is a lot of fun. Kind of reminds me of a spirograph with all, all the plastic pieces. And I hope that you continue to use your curiosity to explore your world and your creativity to improve it. And thank you.